Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and I'm not alone. I've got Mr. Felix. Hi, Basinga. Oh, God, did you really have to go there already? Oh, this, is I'm like, so sorry. This, this is like you've been in less than a week and you've already done that. But we were also, we're also joined by Mr. Kate. It's me, and I think I should probably take this opportunity to explain who I am, because <laughs> we, we've sort of neglected to do that. I, I am the staff writer on the video game website Nintendo Life, which exists, and you should check it out. <laughs> and not, in, not enough people know um, that the site exists, despite, despite yeah. being massive in comparison to the channel. But yes, Kate is a staff writer. She just she pops along occasionally. She's, she's not a video person per se, but she lends her voice because she's good at that. Oh, thanks. You're I've been practicing welcome. for many years. <laughs> You've been practicing talking pretty much since you were born. Um, <laughs> but yes, what are we going to talk about today? I'll tell you. Uh, Nintendo uh, is, uh, has, been, has, has come out with some strange decisions recently, and I would say overall they're not exactly in everyone's best books right now. The main thing being that the Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U eShop are being closed in 20, 20, uh, sorry, 2023? I forgot what year we were in now for a moment. Um, <laughs> and it's March 2023, so only just over a year. And we're going to lose the, uh, the all the 3DS eShop and the Wii U eShop, the most popular of eShops. Um, mm. That's uh, mm, not great. Mm. Uh, Shall we say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like a lot of games will become very expensive because you know. More expensive. Yeah, mm. more expensive e even Ugh. that because you know there's a lot of games on the Wii U that also you just can't buy physical if I'm correct, right? Yeah. Like, mm. I think the um, it, VGC have done an article that I've got open here, and between the two platforms. Um, up to 1,000 digital-only games will just is, poof. It's crazy that they're not like offering an alternative. That's I'm I'm really scared of what what will happen when when the day comes for for the Switch. You know, it's going to be even no. more dramatic with the Switch because the Switch has oh, got yeah. an absolute bum load of stuff on it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the technical term. Yeah. It, yeah, it's the it's an old imperial metric. Sorry, I. I you know. hmm. Yeah, you got to translate it for our American audience. <laughs> you don't an use Imperial, ass apparently. load. An ass <laughs> load. Um, <laughs> that was the best accent I've ever done. Um, so, yeah, uh -huh. this is... I, I don't think anybody... I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to know, actually, because, Kate, you and I, we both worked through the Dark Age of the Wii U. <laughs> we're very, we're yeah. very familiar with it, you know, in, in a weird sort of twisted way. We love the Wii U. But Felix... The Wii U and even the 3DS kind of passed you by, didn't they? So, I mean, yes. sort of taking taking a step away from the sort of objective, well, naturally, this is going to be a bit bums kind of perspective. Just mm -hmm. from a purely selfish point of view, as someone not super familiar with the consoles, how do you feel about them? I personally feel like, you know, most of people have moved on, you know, from at least from the Wii U to, to the Switch. But it, I mean, I, I think it sucks that, that so many games will just become unavailable just like that. And I mean, I can understand why they do it because all the focus is on the Switch. But again, what will happen when the Switch 2 comes around and the Switch just becomes obsolete? I'm just afraid that, you know, they'll just give it the same treatment and just poof, so many even more games will just become unavailable to play. And yeah, that just sucks. It sucks, mate. Um, are there any games that you're aware of on the Wii or the 3DS that have kind of interested you in the past and you'd sort of be, you know, you, you wouldn't mind looking into them or you really want to look into them because they're completely unique oh. to the Wii U, like affordable space adventures? Um, I would love to play Xenoblade Chronicles X because I play the definitive edition. God, and, yeah. You know, I keep forgetting that's stuck on the Wii <laughs> Yeah, I really hope they port it over because I really want to try it out. Um, I don't know if people know this, but I am a big Xenoblade fan. Uh, I played the Definitive Edition and I just love the story and, and atmosphere. I haven't gotten around to the second game yet, but uh, it's on the radar and whenever I have time, I will definitely check it out. You're going to make a lot of people happy because... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I really enjoy Xenoblade, but, you know, sort of people have been clamoring for a real Xenoblade Chronicles fan on the channel, and 
you you can now fulfill that role. <laughs> what about you, Kate? What does your gut tell you about this entire sordid scenario? Uh, so not, not to you know sort of carry your opinion at all or anything like that. <laughs> I I think the thing that I've I'm surprised that I'm upset about the most is the uh, pull block series, also known as the Pushmo games, which is objectively a worse title in my opinion um, those are entirely stuck on the eShop and that means that like so many people are just never going to get to play them um, they're brilliant I don't even know how to describe them it's like what if platforming was inside of a cow that you had to pull that's a bad description I, I, I was going to say I, I didn't quite know where you were going <laughs> with that and then you basically fell off any yeah. kind of semblance <laughs> It's very I, difficult to describe. I mean, it's it is, very I, good. It's very good. It's basically kind of like a pulling, pushing, platforming puzzle game, isn't it? Yeah, like you're inside a, a pixel drawing that's also 3D, and you have to like pull it and push it in order to make platforms for you to jump on. And it's it's a very innovative puzzle game that uh, I, I'm not super into platformers in general unless they have a fun twist. Uh, this one's got a very fun twist and also everything's really cute. So that's nice. You like your cute games, don't you? Oh, I do. Don't, don't pigeonhole me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I like ugly games. Like uh, the ones that get advertised to you, like the Warhammer games. Yeah, and Dante's Inferno. <laughs> which oh, what an I, ugly I have, game. <laughs> I have a horrible soft spot for that game, but it's not on the Switch, so let's move on. That, that was a weird game. I just, for some reason, <laughs> remember... But the bishop assured us! Was that a meme? <laughs> or is that just something I had with my friends? I didn't know there were any Dante's Inferno memes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was popular enough to acquire memes. <laughs> no. Um, there's also Attack of the Friday Monsters. In fact, in fact, there's the entire Guild series, which is uh, a collection of weird little game jam games that Level 5 sort of commissioned, published, uh, which includes Attack of the Friday Monsters, Liberation Maiden, Crimson Shroud, uh, a bunch of other games uh, that I can't think of right now. But they're all, pretty much all of them are really good. And those are all stuck on the 3DS eShop as well. Oh, Weapon Shop Day Omase, which is, I think, Ooh. how they said it on the maybe direct when they announced it. Yeah, um, It's a really good game. They're all really good. I'm sad. I really want to see uh, Wind Waker HD over on the Switch because, oh, you know, I didn't have yeah. uh, a Wii U. I skipped out on the Wii U because, you know, I had a Wii and I asked my mom, hey, mom, can I get a Wii U? No, you have a Wii. That's basically the same thing, you know? And yeah. I, I was not and very she was old right. at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, also, I would love to try Tomodachi Life because that's also stuck on the 3DS oh my as right now. Thankfully, oh. there are physicals of Tomodachi Life. Yeah. In fact, I've got a physical. And I don't know why. I don't feel it's worth having a physical. Although, I, uh, as, as I've mentioned um, in the past, uh, I've, I've mentioned it to you, Kate, that I owe my career to Tomodachi Life. Mm -hmm. really? You made a, a yeah. bad meme. It's the, yeah, I made a bad meme <laughs> about it um, when the site uh, Nintendo Life was running a caption contest. I won the caption yeah. contest, and then I got um, one of the boss's emails, and from then on, I just bothered him until he uh, oh, wow. let me do things. Mm -hmm. Nice. I did not know that. Well, to sort of drag the topic back into focus, kicking and screaming, um, I've already kind of shown my hand with this, but it's it's a game I'd completely forgotten about until all this came out, and one of our colleagues mentioned it. I think maybe it was Gav, not certain. And he said that he's, you know, oh, Affordable Space Adventures. And I was like, mm -hmm. I recognize the name of that game, but there were like several space games where I thought, which one is it? Which one is it? Looked it up and oh my God, it, it's it's the type of game that realistically can't really be done on any other system. I mean, you could, but you'd be stripping mm -hmm. away a lot of what makes the game the game because it requires the gamepad and it requires touch yeah. controls and you have like, you can either play it solo or more importantly, you can play it co-op and you can have like a pilot and the person with the gamepad is the engineer and they have to like control you control like the speed or the engines and the heat and all these various different things and you're balancing everything and that's i mean there were a few games that did that but you can't do that on other systems or at least not easily and it makes me want to boot up my wii u and play that damn game because i'm fairly certain i've got it downloaded and now that i've said that out loud i'm a little bit worried 
I don't. Mm-hmm. Well, there's still time. There's, yeah, there's still, still time. I don't even have my Wii U. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Somewhere right. in England. I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> you didn't think that that was one of the things you just needed to bring to Canada? I'm, I left most of my consoles behind. I left behind my Xbox, my PS4. Uh, then I got new PS4. So, oh, you know, nice. it's fine. They sell them in get, Canada. You didn't get a new <laughs> Wii U. Ugh. They sell things in Canada? No way. Sometimes. They're a lot more expensive. Uh, you've, you've been hiding this from us all, Kate. <laughs> I did bring my 3DS, though. I brought my 3DS and all my 3DS games. Um, and so I am able to get things off the 3DS eShop. Um, like Weapon Shop de Omase, which I thought, I thought I owned. I've definitely played it. I mean, the weird thing is that when I worked at Official Nintendo Magazine, which was during the Wii U's heyday, which wasn't much of a heyday, um, and so we, we played a lot of games on the office consoles. And so, like, when I when I got my Wii U stats, it was like, you've played for 145 hours. And I was like, well, that's <laughs> definitely not true. Uh, but all of my, you know, save games and everything are locked away on consoles that probably got thrown in the bin. Oh, that's sad. I don't sad. know where they are. I know, I know. And you'll never get those back. And in a year's time, you'll not even be able to re-download stuff because I, I must admit, I, d I don't know whether it's, whether you're going to be able to re-download stuff after that mm -hmm. date or whether it, yeah. you know, sort of, kind of like, I'm fairly certain the Wii Shopping Channel, for a while you couldn't, like, buy any more credits, as it were, or like Wii Shop Point or whatever the hell they were, but you could yeah. still re-download things you previously owned. You can't do that anymore. You try and load it up and it just goes, mate, you are far too late. But, <laughs> you know, is there going to be a grace period like that? Does anyone know? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I assume that there's some server somewhere at Nintendo that has all of everybody's 3DS games on it. I, I assume that's how it works. And at some point they're just going to switch it off or turn it into a Splatoon server. I don't know. <laughs> um, and imagine... When, when we have the Switch in like 10 or 20 years time and you accidentally, I don't know, someone accidentally deletes your game, you just can't re-download it, man. Uh. But it's it's not only like the exclusive games on 3DS and Wii U that aren't going to be available. Realistically, this is the last of the virtual console as well. So all those old games from the NES and the SNES that we've all bought about four times before, there is going to be no way to actually pay for and own them i mean getting into the sort of the the politics of ownership when it comes to digital goods is kind of complicated and we're not going to talk about nfts um will you still be able to play them this is the thing you should be able to play them yeah absolutely but let's say your system gets corrupted or something you won't oh. be able to eventually you won't be able to get them again those games that you've paid money for will no longer be available and again it's oh. because Argue, technically you don't own them you own a license for them but even yeah. so and yeah there's the alternative with um nintendo switch online and stuff like that and realistically when it comes to these older games for me that's kind of perfectly fine i don't need to own these old games because i own them i own the cartridges and there are some games for which i don't own the cartridges but you know, I, it's not it's not a big deal for me. I do understand why for a lot of people, this is a big, this is a big old pickle right here. But for me personally, it's it's annoying. But I don't think it's any more than that. You're acting like they won't uh, eventually disintegrate. As we all know, cartridges they don't last forever either, Alex. Well, nothing Someday lasts those forever. Games will eventually, crumble. the universe will experience heat death. Oh no. Yeah, and then you won't be able to play Paper Mario on the N64. <laughs> and that's the worst part of the heat death of the universe, we yeah. all know. You're going to be there, and you're just going to go, God damn it, I should have died <laughs> several billions of years ago, but I'm annoyed yeah. <laughs> that I can't play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. Oh, yeah. man. I really wish there was a virtual console on the Switch, just because, you know, I didn't have a Wii U, and there's just a lot of games mm -hmm. I would like to try. Sure, there's the Nintendo online service, but it seemed there was a lot more games on the virtual console, if I do not know. Oh, yeah. 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 In fact, uh, every time I think of the virtual console, I think of that one uh, Wii Shop Wednesdays <laughs> song. 
<laughs> I don't know if this is going to be a meme that everybody knows about, but... I've uh, never heard of it, but I would love oh, no. to, to... No, it's okay. okay. I, I'm not sure I'm aware of it either. You need to... You okay. need to you educate need to us it. both. Uh, it is a sketch by uh, a group called Nirvana, the band, the show. And uh, they go like, oh, it's We Shot Wednesday. Oh, that's so cool. And then they sit down... And uh, they're like, oh, imagine, imagine singing all the songs on the virtual console to the tune of the, the Wii shop theme. And then they do. And it's great. <laughs> and, is, is it just like a really, really long video then? Uh, no, it's probably about three minutes long. And that means everybody listening now should go and find it. If you <laughs> yes. sh- if you search We Shot Wednesday, I bet it'll come up. I think I'll go and search for it after we Yay. stop recording. Yay! I'm so happy to educate you. Slightly off topic. I swear. I swear. We tend <laughs> to go off topic in videos, and then we bring Kate in, and it's 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 like it's like adding <laughs> like lighter <laughs> fluid to a fire. Yay! That means I make things good. Yeah. Yay. Who doesn't want the fire to be bigger and less controllable? Um, <laughs> but there's, you know, so the virtual console, yeah, there's a bummer. I mean, really, it, it is amazing how last week the direct was like, "Wow, all these cool things coming," and then this week everyone's like, "Wow, Nintendo, did you not think yeah. about this?" Because there's another feather in this fettered cap. Which is the fact that uh, the Nintendo Sport, uh, Nintendo Switch Sports, there's like a playtest going on this weekend, and that's all. That's all cool. It's interesting. You get to play it before it's released. Whoa, you know, fun, fun, fun. But there's like a stipulation in it which says you can play it, and by agreeing to this, you know, service, this system, this online playtest, you will agree not to post about it on social media, which includes screenshots, videos. And just talking about it, and it's like, I, I, I it's, what are the, I, for one thing, like, I, you know, sort of, I'm fairly certain it does affect us as well. So I, I don't believe mm-hmm. we'll be able to do anything with it, which, uh, it's weird, but okay. But how on earth are Nintendo going to possibly police this? You know, sort of, yeah, thousands, tens, hundreds, maybe even millions of people are going to be playing this thing. They cannot go around the whole of the Twitters and stop people who say the word sport. Yeah, it's delightfully out of touch, which I think is Nintendo's motto at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, how how are they going to enforce an NDA that like no one signed? That's essentially what they're trying to do, yeah. What well, like I can understand with outlets like us, like actual journalists and YouTube channels being like, Ooh, look at this. They could probably, you know, shut things down. And they've got a big enough legal team that if anybody does post anything, they can probably take it down too. But they can't stop it from happening. No. Everyone is going to know because you're going to hear it from a friend or you're going to see a tweet about, you know, not a news site on Twitter or something. And yeah, it's baffling that that this is like a thing they're doing in 2022. I I I honestly think it's going to end up resulting in, and there may well be some conspiracy theorists getting their tinfoil hats on, But I think this is going to result actually in more social media stuff because as soon as you tell someone you can't do something and realistically it's the sort of thing where don't do it or or, or we'll, uh, uh, I don't know, (laughs) they're going to do it. As soon as you tell someone they can't do something, it's the first thing they want to do. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like you've always grown up with that. Oh, you can't play with that toy. Well, now I want to play with it, you know. And were you uh, mm-hmm. Waluigi growing up there? Yes. Um, some might not know this, but when I grew up, I was actually Waluigi. I took on this role in, in a Nintendo game for Mario Tennis, and somehow, you know, they just used that original footage for the next long time, and I just tried to get away with it, changed my name, essentially, and yeah, um, it's just something I'm not very proud of, if, if that makes sense. The craziest thing of all is that you look nothing like him. Yeah, I also yeah. got a surgery. But we, we don't talk about just that. Just one. Just yeah, the just one surgery. <laughs> <laughs> the Waluigi yeah. surgery, they're calling it. Yes. For everyone who looks like Waluigi. Well, that's... Cool. Um, gl- glad to know we were able to <laughs> rein that topic back into focus. Yeah. Yes. But it's. I think the, the culmination basically boils down to Nintendo being a little bit tone deaf, or realistically... What it probably comes down to is one or two individuals 
who happened to be high enough, uh, high enough up in the company, making decisions despite potentially, you know, dozens if not hundreds of people saying that's a terrible idea, they're still making that decision, and everyone else in the company having to relay that and deal with the fallout. Yeah, it just feels like Nintendo is a bit out of touch, you know, with with the audience. Reality. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, essentially reality. Well, you know, the, um, I'm trying to think of a good thing they've done. I think it's really cool that we are getting Switch Sports on, on the Switch, because Wii Sports was one of my favorite games growing up. I don't know how big it was for you guys who grew up, you know, with other systems, but it was like the go-to game when, when friends came over, just Wii Sports, always a good time killer. And I just hope it's, it's just as fun. You know, it, it sucks that the Mii's are not there, but essentially it's Wii Sports on the Switch, and I'm all in for it. I'm really excited to, to play the game. I don't know about you guys. Uh, yeah, I probably won't play it. I mean, I've got Ring Fit, and I barely play that. Yeah, it looks fine, but, you know. Oh, man, that's your older years. You know, everyone on my age is going to be, hell yeah, Wii Sports. You, you, you young whippersnappers, you hang on to that then. We'll we'll mm. play our, you know, weird modern games, and you stick with the past. It's fine. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're the ones playing modern games? Yeah, I, I've, I, I've heard of Elden Ring. Oh, that's not on Switch, Alex. Oh, no. <laughs> maybe someday. If The Witcher can do it and Skyrim can do it, maybe maybe FromSoft can do it too. Maybe. Well, we've. Uh, I think we should probably yeah, draw this to a conclusion considering it's gone. It's been derailed several times now but yes those are our views you know hopefully nintendo will be able to drag themselves up and realize you know that everything can be fine if they just think um but let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching if you like this video then why don't you remove that subscribe button in a year and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely nintendo related content thank you again for watching bye 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 beans oh, what?